Hello friends, this video on pair of linear equations in two variables part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. So in graphical method, we first draw the graph of both the equations. For example, we have this equation as I told, right? Girl plus boy is equal to 5 and girl minus boy is equal to 1. So first what we'll do? We'll draw a graph for these two. I'll explain you how to do that. Once we have the graph, now this graph, since it is a linear equation of two variables, first equation, and second equation is also a linear equation of two variables, it will always be a straight line. Linear equations give straight line. Now, since it is a straight line, if you draw the graph, if you have two straight lines, there are three possibilities. One is it will intersect, it will be parallel, or it will coincide. Right? There are only three possibilities. Similarly, for these two equations, if you draw the graph, there will be three possibilities. If you take two lines and try to join or merge these points, you will get three possibilities. Either they will be, they will interact, they will intersect, they will be parallel or they will coincide. Similarly, here also, if the lines intersect, for example, if you have two equations and you draw the line for these two equations and they intersect. So if they intersect, that means it has unique solution. If the lines are parallel, it has no solution. Please make a note of this. If parallel, no solution. If intersect, unique solution. And if they are coincident, then they are infinite solution. Let me write here again. This is unique because we have unique solution here. This is no solution. When they are parallel, no speaker. See, for solution to exist, I'll explain you how you remember this and coincide. As I explained, solution is nothing but the point where both the point lines meet. Correct? If you see, these two lines meet at this point. Only one point. So we can say that this has unique solution. In this case, these two lines never meet. There is no meeting point. So we can say there is no solution. Correct? In this case, if you see, both the lines are overlapping. That means there are n number of points where they are meeting. If you see, right, that all these points, they meet each other. So we can say, in this case, they are infinite solution. Please don't mug up things. Just try to clear your concept. Try to understand why, in case when they intersect, they have a unique solution. In case they are parallel, there is no solution. In case they are coincident, they are infinite solution. Let me repeat once again, since this is a concept. If two lines are intersecting, see the solution is nothing but the point where both the lines meet. Correct? Because if we have two lines, two equations, if I'm trying to find solution of this, I'm trying to find a common point which satisfies both the equation. So let's suppose this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Lines of equation 1 and equation 2. Correct? Now I am trying to find solution that is common to both equation 1 and equation 2. That means I am trying to find a common point that is there in line 1 and line 2. So if I am able to find one common point that means it has a unique solution. If I am able to find infinite sol points that is both the lines are overlapping. that means I can say they are infinite solutions. If the lines are not even meeting that means there is no common point where they are meeting. That means there is no solution. I'll explain these. I'll take one examples of all these to clear the concept. Just try to understand the logic. Intersecting, unique solution because one point they are intersecting. Parallel, they are not meeting altogether, no solution. If they are coincident, they are overlapping, so they are having infinite solution because at infinite number of points, they are meeting. Correct? Now let's take an example of intersecting. Let the lines are intersecting. The same example I'll take. Sum of boys and girls in the class is 5. Boys are more than girls by 1. Find number of boys and girls. So let me take boys be x and girls be y. Correct. Now I am told that sum of boy and girl is 5. That means I can say that x plus y is going to 5. Why? Because this is the x is the number of boy and y is the number of girl. Boy, boy and girl is 5. So I can say x plus y is equal to 5. That is boy plus girl is equal to 5. Also, boy is 1 more than girl. That means 
boy is one more than girl that is x minus y is equal to one why because if boys are more than girls by one if you subtract boys if you uh, subtract girls from boys you get one because see let's suppose if i'm saying boys are more than girls by one so let's suppose boys are 10 and girls are 9 so 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 similarly here also x minus y is equal to 1 correct please understand this because if you don't understand these logic you will not be able to formulate the equations and then you will not be able to solve the questions this is very critical when i'm saying sum of boys and girls in the class is 5 that means boy plus girl is 5 boy is x girl is y so i'll say x plus y is going to 1 when i say boy is more than girls by 1 that means x minus y is going to 1 right or even i can say that let's suppose boy is going to x right and girl is going to y now since boys are one more than girl correct boys are more than girls by one so if i subtract one from boy because they are one extra i subtract one from guy that means the number will be equal now i can also say x minus y is equal to one x minus one is equal to y both are same actually if you take y this side this becomes x minus y you interpret the way you want if you think this is easier for you this is number of boy, this is number of girl. Since the number of boy is one extra, then I subtract one from the boy. Then you can say that both the quantities are same. So we can say x minus y is x minus one is equal to y. Or similarly, this equation will turn out to be x minus one is equal to one. Correct? So if we have now we have two equations. This is equation one and this is equation two. Now since we have two equations, we can very well solve it. Now since in this slide we are going for the graphical method. So for graphical method, the first step I explained was plot the graph. Okay, we'll plot the graph. And then we'll see if it is intersecting, that means, that means it has unique solution. If it is parallel, no solution. If it's coincident, that means infinite solution. We'll plot the graph first thing. So let me put some values here. This is zero, this is one, two, three, four, let's say this is five, one, two. 3, 4, 5, correct? x plus y is equal to 5. Now let me, uh, for equation 1, for equation 1, let me uh, take the table, x, y table, right? So if I put x is equal to 0 in this equation, x plus y is equal to 5, x is equal to 0, I put that becomes 0 plus y is equal to 5. So y becomes 5, so y is 5. Now let me put y is equal to 0. I put y is equal to 0. So this becomes x plus 0 is equal to 5. Y because y is equal to 0 here. This becomes x equal to 5. So we have got two values. Let's take more values. I'll put x equal to 2. Let's suppose. 2 plus y is equal to 5. So y is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3. x is equal to 2. So maybe now let me put y is equal to 2. So this becomes x plus 2 is equal to 5. So here x becomes 3, so this is 3, this is 2. 4 points are more than enough, actually with 3 points also we can plot the graph. So these are 4 points we have got for equation 1. Similarly, we will try to plot a uh, graph for equation 2. So let's find the x y values. So here, what we will do, let me put x equal to 1. x equal to 1 I will get, so equation I will get 1 minus y is equal to 1. 1 will cancel, y is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Let me put x equal to 2 now. So this becomes 2 minus y is equal to 1. If you saw this, this becomes y is equal to 1. y comes here, 1 comes here, y is equal to 1. Let me put one more point. If you put x equal to 3, 3 minus y is equal to 1, here y is equal to 2. This becomes 2. So we have got 3 points. 3 points are more than sufficient to plot the graph. Now let's plot the graph. First is 0, 0,5 is this point. Second is 5 comma 0 is this point. Then we have 2 comma 3. X is 2, Y is 3. And sorry, this is this point. And 3 comma 2. This is this point. But this is 2 also. So now I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 points. I can just join these points. Correct? If I join this point, what I'll get is a straight line. This is 
a straight line which I get. If I join these points, I got a straight line. So this line is nothing but equation for x plus y is equal to 5. Now let me draw equation for x minus y is equal to 1. For x minus y is equal to 1, x is 1, y is 0. x is 1, y is 0 at this point. x is 2, y is 1 at this point. x is 3, y is 2 at this point. So if you now plot this graph like this, what you will see that both the lines intersect. Both the line intersect at this point, and this point is nothing but x is three minus two, and this is nothing but x comma y. Correct. So we can say that x is equal to three and y is equal to two is the solution for these two equations. That means the number of boy is. 3 and the number of girl is we can verify also x plus y is equal to 5 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and boy is 1 more than girl because boy is 3 and girl is 2 correct very simple what we have done the first thing is we need to understand the problem we understood the problem and wrote this equation x plus y is equal to 5 boy plus girl is equal to 5 and boy minus girl is equal to 1 because the number of boy is one more than number of girls. Since we have this two equation, we have found the value of x and y, which satisfies the equation. We have plotted the graph. We have the graph. We found that these two graphs, these two lines, meet at three comma two. Then we can say that x is three and y is equal to two is the solution of this equation, and that's what we want. Let's check. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to. Watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.